Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are doing well today. So I finally got my BoxyCharm for the month of March. I was supposed to get this like six days ago and it finally arrived. So today I'm just gonna show y'all what I got in my box. For some reason, I was just assuming that I wasn't gonna like the box this month. I mean, I did watch a couple of other unboxings and I wasn't really too impressed and I didn't like my box from last month. So I just kind of figured that I wasn't gonna like this box, but I am pleasant surprised like this isn't one of my favorite boxes but it is kind of practical for me like I feel like every single product in here they are things that I would actually get some use out of maybe not on a regular basis for all of the products but I feel like everything in here I would actually you know pick up from time to time so I think I pretty much like this box this month so before I show y'all what I got for those of you who are here for the first time thank you so much for stopping by my name is Sonia Nicole and I post new makeup videos every week including some stuff for makeup lovers who are 40 and over so I really hope that you'll consider subscribing today I would really appreciate your support and I would definitely love to have you join the channel okay y'all let's jump right into it Okay, so I will have a link in my description box for those of you who want to get some more information on BoxyCharm or if you want to sign up. So the theme for this month is Lucky and I think it's very appropriate for this month. Very cute card nice and seasonal and then on the back of it just for those of you who aren't familiar they just show you um, information about all of the products that you got in your box so boxycharm used to give us just a really simple two digit variation code now they have these like really long extra codes on the on the card but just in case you're wondering like maybe you're still waiting for your box I will put the um, product code for my the variation code rather for my box on the screen and let me look up my my weight because y'all always ask me that okay I spoke too soon I'm sorry never mind about the weight because I cannot find it this happened before where I'm looking at my tracking information and I don't see the weight where it normally is so I do apologize but I will have my variation code on the screen okay so my first product is a skincare product so I haven't used it yet I'm gonna be trying this out tonight this is the glow recipe banana Anna souffle moisture cream so this is a lightweight moisturizer that seals in lasting hydration without clogging your pores and some of the main ingredients in here are banana chia seed magnesium and turmeric so I am very congested right now and I'm sure y'all can hear that in my voice so when I smell this I do smell like a very faint banana smell but unfortunately I can't be too sure how strong it is because I just can't really smell things right now but I usually don't like um, like fruity or like sweet scents on my face and I'm hoping that this is just like a faint smell because I do really want to try this out I think it looks very moisturizing so let me show y'all just a little bit of it here so that's what it looks like on my finger and I'm just gonna blend it out on the back of my hand just so that y'all can see it I mean I know y'all can't really actually see it when I blend it but I'm hoping that y'all can kind of get a sense of how like moisturizing it looks as I'm blending it out I really want to try this out on my face just to see how I like it we did get a glow recipe avocado mask a sleeping mask um, a little while back and I really love that stuff so I'm just really curious about this but if it does have like a stronger like sweet banana smell to it I may not be able to take it but I am gonna try it and see one thing I'll say about this is it looks like compared to the avocado sleeping mask which unfortunately that I don't have it in front of me but it looks like this is a lot less product in here compared to that other one but with the avocado mask a very little bit went a long way so I'm hoping such is the case for this too so like I said I'm going to be trying this tonight and this cost $39 so this is my first product okay and everything else I did play around with today so the next product is the Luna Magic Beauty Blend It Girl 4 Piece Brush Set so it comes in this little bag here I think this bag is nice but it's like a little extra for me like I feel like I need some sunglasses on when I'm looking at this this bag 
But here are the brushes that come in the bag and I did use them all today. So for this one, I did kind of have to figure out how to use this. So I ended up using it to set my, my eyeshadow base for today. Outside of that though, I don't really know like what else I would use this for. Like maybe for cheek highlight, but I don't really wear highlighter too much these days. But the rest of these brushes, I was able to get like a good amount of use out of them out of them to do my eyeshadow. So I use this one here to do some blending with and I use this one to put some eyeshadow on my lower lash line and this one I use to pack color onto my lid. So I don't think that there's anything like super special about these brushes but they operated just fine. And these retail for $18. And moving on to the eyeshadow, my next product is the Viseart Neutral Mattes Palette. I don't know if it's Viseart or Visart. I feel like it's Viseart, but I could be wrong. If you know, let me know in the comments. But this is their Neutral Mattes Palette. And a lot of y'all know that I prefer cool tones when it comes to eyeshadow. But I'm not opposed to neutral palettes at all. Like I do have, you know, quite a few in my collection actually. But I do like neutral shades just because like they're neutral and I feel like everybody can use them. What I like about this is that it's a neutral, I think it's like an everyday palette, like an everyday color tone. But it also has like some pops of color in it too so I actually just bought an all matte palette from Target the other day because I really want to play around with matte eyeshadows a little bit more I don't have I think I might have only one other palette that's all matte I would definitely prefer like shimmers on my lids and I think that's mostly because I just don't feel all that comfortable with all matte eyeshadow looks so I do have this palette on today so I do have an all matte look on today but I feel like whenever I use um, I guess especially like colorful matte shades on my lids I feel like the colors just always kind of dissipate and the same thing happened with this one today but I don't think it's the eyeshadow I think it's just me not being totally comfortable with using those types of colors and that type of formula on my lid but I'm gonna zoom y'all in a little bit so I can show y'all the colors that I did use today I only used three of them right yeah I only used three colors today no four okay so this pink shade here this is the one that's on the center of my lid and then I have this brown shade on the outer part of the lid. And then I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is like a plummy, like purple shade. And that's the shade that I use to blend everything out. And then I also have this chocolate shade on my lower lash line. And then I have this shade here in my inner corner. I was really tempted to use a shimmery eyeshadow or a highlighter on my inner corner just so I could have like some shimmer in there. But I said, no, let me just play around with this as much as I can and just stick with an all matte shade. So I like the way my eyes look today. But like I said, I'm just not totally comfortable with using mattes, all mattes on the lid, especially especially colorful mattes. So I am looking forward to playing around with this more often. I just feel like this is a very versatile palette even for people who are looking for just like straight up neutral colors because you do have a good amount of neutral colors in here but like I said you can also play around with a little bit of color. So surprisingly or at least surprisingly to me this cost $80. Like I have seen this brand a lot like in Sephora and in other videos but for whatever reason I just didn't know that this brand was this high price like I thought that this was going to be more like $40 $45 but yeah this one retails for $40 so not the typical eyeshadow palette type that I would go for but aside from that I do still really like this Next up is the Seraphine Botanicals Apple and Bomb Glow Lip Mask. I really did not want to get this because I feel like a lot of people got this last month and it was just kind of like a blah type of product. And I really don't like getting like lip mask and lip bombs in my box. I would rather get like something else. <laughs> but I actually like this like it's something that I would use just for like around the house or if I just want to throw something on my lips but I don't want like any color which we're doing a lot right now because of the mask this has like a subtle like apple 
scent to it but again remember <laughs> I'm congested so it could be like stronger than what I'm smelling right now but I actually didn't mind this on the lips when it comes to lip products I don't mind if they smell sweet as opposed to like stuff that I'm putting on my actual skin lip products I can take like a sweet like candy or like cakey type smell so this one actually smells really good to me I was expecting this to be similar to the elf lip balm and I guess that's because of the packaging how they look really similar I cannot stand this product this is like one of the worst lip products I've ever used I think it's like really thick and goopy on the lips this is not at all and I'm actually going to show y'all a comparison okay so this is the elf lip balm so you guys see how it's kind of like a really thick when it comes out and I'm going to show y'all how the other one compares. Now remember this is a lip balm whereas this one is a lip mask. Oh, I can't even get it out all the way because it's a bit more runny. It's not running down my hand but I hope y'all can see that this one is just a bit it's like a bit more like thin like the consistency just isn't as thick as the other one I feel like it's thick enough to give your lips like a seal or like a protection but it's not anywhere as thick as the elf one I had this on my lips for about an hour and I felt like it was still keeping my lips nice and hydrated. When I first put it on, I had like a really nice glow to it. Now it wasn't as glowy as like a lip gloss, but it did have a good amount of shine to it. But I would say like after an hour, the shine really went away. My lips didn't look dry at all, but they just didn't look shiny, but my lips still felt nice and hydrated. So my plan was to just have this on my lips along with a lip liner that I'm going to show y'all in a little bit but I decided to go on top of this with a lipstick I have um or not a lipstick I have another lip gloss I have one of the NYX butter glosses on top of it just because I really wanted like some color on my lips there was like no color or no shine but my lips still did feel nice and hydrated now this cost $25 so this isn't something that I would buy because I do think that's kind of pricey for a lip mask but because I have it I feel like I am going to pretty much use this up because I like like it it is a really nice product and my last product is the beauty vault lip liner trio so these are three different liners and I am wearing this one here this is called cozy I think it's cozy Kira or cozy Kyra so I'm hoping that y'all can see it on my lips but I'm also gonna give y'all a swatch so that's the one that I'm wearing now. I would definitely use this on a regular basis. I think it's like a nice neutral shade that'll go with a lot of nude lips. I also got the shade Bow Babe. And that is another shade that I would wear on a regular basis, but not as much as the first one. I definitely like the first one better. And then this last one, I'm not sure how often I would use this, if ever, really. But this one is the shade Natty Nat. And this one is like, it's nice, but I never wear red liners. The only thing I can think of to do with this is to use it along with this. The um, Fenty Gloss Bomb Cream in the shade Fruit Snacks. That's the only thing I can think to use a uh, red liner for. But I definitely like the first one that I'm wearing today. Like, I would definitely use that on a regular basis and like I said the one in the middle is nice too and then the, the red one I mean I don't know how often I would use that but I feel like to get two out of three that I would get some use out of is pretty good I like this formula too like when I was putting this one on the one that I used today it was like really smooth really creamy this is like a really nice a nice lip liner formula and these cost $18 so the total worth of my box for this month is $180 and I think think almost half of that it's this palette right here at $80 I paid $25 for all the stuff that I got today so I definitely think that I got my money's worth and like I said earlier I think that I can get a good amount of use out of everything that I got so I am pleasantly surprised at my boxy charm this month and I am quite satisfied with it so let me know what y'all think about the box that I got and if you have boxy charm what did you think about the box that you got and also let me know what y'all think about my new setup here do you like this or do you prefer the old one let me know in the comments thank y'all so much for watching today i really appreciate it make sure you subscribe before you head out and i will see y'all back here for my next one until then take care have a good one y'all bye